Hello, my beautiful people. I haven't seen you guys in a while, and it's because I have been working like a crazy lady. No, seriously, I've been working a lot, and I decided to take a time to really um, talk about my first year in business. Um, it hasn't been so much hard, but at the same time, it's very challenging to get the right people in here. So that will be number one thing that I'll say. It's a little challenging to get the right people in here. So it kind of shocked me, threw me off. Um, I do have two locticians and um, get. I'm trying to update you guys because I want you guys to know that I want to be able to see you guys grow as barbers and stylists. And I'm here on, on here to encourage anybody who is going through a hard time in building clientele. Now, I want to ask you, why is your clientele not growing still? What's wrong? What's going on? So where's your focus at? I always say that you want to make sure your focus is in the right place. And you want to cut it down to one thing that you do every day consistently that will grow your clientele to a big um, amount. Give yourself a goal, set yourself a goal, like say to yourself, you know what, I think I want to have a hundred clients in, in by the end of the year, I want to have a uh, 200 clients by 2020, whatever it is, set that goal, write it down on a paper. Cause I think a lot of times people just think that they can just think it off their head and it stays there. You got to write it down. So you see it and then ask yourself a question. So how am I going to get to this goal? How am I going to get to this 200 people? I'm just doing what I did. I'm telling you guys what worked for me. So say to yourself, I want to get to 200 clients by the end of 2020. So question is, how are you going to get to that goal? Ask yourself these questions and then the answers come to you. The first answer will be, well, okay, pass out more cards, um, list all my stuff online so people can see me. Um, if you pass out one card each day to, to each person, that's 31, 32 people in a month that didn't even know about you. In a year, that's 300 and something people that already know about you. So if 100 of those came back, that's 100 clients in a year. Just that simple. So these are things you have to think about. You have to be strategic. And um, you have to plan. You have to be... And you have to be disciplined. I always keep saying you have to be disciplined. You have to discipline yourself to the point where you eat, sleep, wake up and breathe whatever it is that you're doing keep promoting keep passing out cards keep doing the things that will build your brand build you build your character character building um books character building um program character building you know about honesty about loyalty about how to treat people how to be courteous how to be kind to people keep reading about books that uplift your spirit positive things put positive things in and positive things come back out um just keep um investing in you at the end of the day you are the only one that has to look out for you nobody else will okay so this is just to encourage anybody who's out there and who is in need of support keep going i mean don't stop just keep going i just wanted to take a, a time out to encourage anybody out there who's going through hard times or who's having a hard time building your clientele, just do this three tips. Promote a lot, as much as you can on social media, pass out cards a lot <laughs> and be consistent. Show up on time and always be there at work. Those are the three things that actually work for me. All right, I'm gonna show you another great tip that also worked for me, but this is gonna be a step-by-step -step on how I got my clients uh, and how my clientele is growing I'll probably say by 10, 20% every year. That's my goal. I've been setting a goal for that and I've been seeing it consistently. So I want to show you guys how I'm doing it and how it's working for me. All right. So stay encouraged. All right. Love you. Bye.